Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook fresh sea bass in 15 minutes. This is an eight ounce wild caught Chilean sea bass from Argentina, very fresh. If you smell your fish with your nose, it's not a fresh catch. So make sure you use your nose to indicate how fresh your fish is. I'm gonna use olive oil, fresh cracked pepper, a little kosher salt, and a half of a lemon. First, we're going to add a little olive oil here to the filet. You just wanna make sure you coat your filet very well with olive oil. Okay, you've got all the sides, you've got the bottom, the top. This is one beautiful filet of sea bass, y'all. Now we're gonna salt and pepper it. You're going to use a 12 inch skillet and I'm gonna put this over medium high heat so we can get this skillet really hot. We're gonna add a little kosher salt. Just add it to all sides here of your filet. Okay, just a little bit of flavor. And then I've got some fresh cracked pepper I'm gonna add to this. Just like that. And you can rub it in so you can get it evenly distributed through the sides and the top and bottom of your filet. Now, this goes off to that smoking hot skillet. Sear for five minutes. Do not touch it, move it, or turn it. Let it sear for five minutes. Use your timer. Five minutes are up. It's time to turn this beauty. And I can't wait to see how it looks. Look what a beautiful sear that is. Oh yeah, that's a gorgeous, beautiful sear on there. Time it for five minutes on this side. Use your timer. Second five minutes are up. Now this goes off to a 450 degree preheated oven for the next five minutes. Use your timer. Just took that filet out of the oven and I'm going to put it right here on a serving dish. Oh my goodness. And I'm immediately going to squeeze that fresh lemon here on the top so it can just absorb down into that sea bass. Oh goodness, yummy. Does it smell fantastic? I've let my filet rest for about three minutes. And I'm gonna show you how lovely and flaky it is on the inside. Just look at that, absolutely. Oh my goodness, and it smells so heavenly and so fresh. Mmm, gotta give it a bite. Mmm, oh my goodness. That is one of the best catch of the day. Absolutely out of this world and look there mm, so flaky the perfect amount of seasoning it doesn't need to be much you really don't want to lose that fabulous sea bass flavor by overloading it with different seasonings mm, wow y'all you're absolutely going to love this if you are a sea bass lover this is the recipe for you Hey, leave me a comment. Give me thumbs up here on YouTube or Instagram. Leave me a comment, y'all. Share the video. Thanks a million for watching, and I'll catch you next time.
Thank you.